Salutation my comment. How you guys do? Huh? <laughs> oh. <laughs> you know that's not my real sneeze, because my real sneeze sounds like it and it's getting an enema from a unicorn. What? That too far? Yeah. Anyway guys, how you guys doing? So it's been a while since I've posted a video of myself on YouTube. By the way, this video's not planned. I've just feel really bad. So I'm just on the camera and oh, I just rumble on. What have I been up to? You may wonder and ask. Well, it was Easter holiday. What did I do? I didn't do much. I went back to Burnley. I turned into a slob again. It's so annoying, right? Because I go to Burnley and then I gain weight. Like, just, and then I came to Manchester just like a week before. I lost weight straight away. Like, I shut up looking at me thinking, <laughs> Still look fat. I can tell, right? I can tell if I lost weight. Cause I feel my boob. If it's lost weight. Hey, actually, hey, shit. Oh shit, I've lost weight in my boob. Or I like pull my double chin like this. Like a couple of years ago, when I was really fat, I used to be able to pull my double chin like really. Do you know? Do you know? You know, professor. Do you know when he's driving the Ferrari? I think it's a Ferrari. It's a sports car. He's turning back into Sherman, and his face sort of stretches like like that. Right. So before I used to be able to check, like I stretch my um, double chin, so it's like to there. I've got a really stretchy double chin. It's really weird. I've lost my point. I can't remember what I was talking about. So that's my Easter holidays. I didn't do much. What do you guys do? Please let me know, comment below. I've been working on a lot of stuff behind YouTube. So I've been working on a lot of my uni film that I showed you guys before. And then also I made a promo video for work, which I posted onto YouTube, but you guys didn't even see it properly. So shame on you guys, just cause I'm not in it, I'm not in the thumbnail, doesn't mean that you can't watch it. Like watch the video please, get views and stuff. Cause I worked really hard on that. Um, what else? Do. I've had a haircut, you may have noticed. Next year, next school year, my friend Joe is making a, like a, what was it, 30 minute, like a, comedy short and it was based in the 70s and so for the 70s I thought you know what it'd be quite cool if we both grow our hair really long so I grew my hair but I've come to a point where I've realized where my hair went in the awkward stage where it's too long for a boy's haircut short one so it just flops so it won't stick up because it just flops down it's too short for a girl's haircut like the standard like female haircut ah oh. and then I thought you know what I might as well get a haircut because I'm like having a meeting today uh, not today this week and I want to look smart I don't want to keep going like that with my hair because it just looks really unprofessional and I'm trying to run out to the big bad world. Good news, right? I recorded this news in my previous video, but I don't know why I didn't edit this in. But I'm making a wedding video. So basically guys, go on Twitter and follow this company called Fresh Perspectives. And this guy called Phil, Philip McDowell. So I'm working with him and hopefully we'll be able to shoot like a wedding video in summer. And it's so cool, right? Because I'm gonna get the money. Oh, uh, yeah. Money! But no, it, it's like a massive experience. Honestly, I, I'll probably shit myself because it's a massive deal. It's really scary stuff. But I'm progressing, so that's all is good. I know you guys have missed me because I haven't shown my face to you guys. So it's like, a lot of people like, they want to see my face on a video, which is like, it's lovely of them. But I do update my second channel. Yeah. Just because I'm my, my face is not on it, it doesn't mean... My flat is there. Can you but it doesn't mean that I'm neglecting you guys. I'm on YouTube like every day. I'm addicted to YouTube. As years go by, I've realized I've become more and more of a perfectionist, which is really annoying to me because I have several videos in the making and I haven't uploaded them onto YouTube because I'm not too happy with them. Now I sort of understand what Charlie McDonald was talking about when he was saying he's like shot content and stuff and he's uploaded it but he wasn't too proud of it. So I've done that a lot. It's like, uh, I've gone to the stage where, because a lot of people say, oh, you got this fancy camera and whatnot. My camera's not even fancy. It's not even a proper DSLR camera. So I can't change the lens or anything which is really annoying but it's like people assume that I've got this high tech equipment that light by the way that you saw in my last video it's not my butterfly light it's the one that wore from university I thought I'd mention it because a friend from work Phil he just went that's not your light you were lying but I didn't say it was mine I was just saying it looked cool which it did Ooh. I've become more of a perfectionist on YouTube and it's become really annoying because a lot of my content I feel like I have to make it really high quality because kids nowadays when they're on YouTube they assume that everyone's content has to be really top notch for them to watch it because remember back in the day back in like what 2008 2009 when people were able to watch a youtube video that was not hd they'd just watch it enjoy it but nowadays you know you need a youtube video that's in a proper expensive camera well lit well focused well obviously it has to be focused well focused really fancy background but you know gone to the point where i feel really self-conscious about the quality of my content which is sort of turned me off or there is also a bright side which sort of does motivate me to make greater content for you guys it's good but it does take me a bit of time remember back in the days i used to make videos 
video is just like that. But that's because I didn't care about lighting, I didn't care about the shot and composition or anything like that. I'm going to Edinburgh again this summer. Yay! So last summer I went to Edinburgh. I went with my sixth form classmates and my teacher, Mr. Warren. And it was, it's kind of sad really. It's, it was my best non holiday holiday because we just went there as a group thing. And because with my family, holidays are a nightmare. I don't like them. But that was brilliant. And we're going this summer, right, to actually perform. The times are changing. We're going to be acting and performing. And I'll let you guys know the dates of when that is. If you guys are in the neighborhood in Edinburgh, you guys could watch me perform and hopefully I'll learn cash from you guys. Mm. It's really annoying, right? Because I've spent so much money this year. I was supposed to get an upgrade of a camera because I think I've used most of the uses for this camera right now. But it's unfortunate because my phone, the phone that I used to use the audio for my YouTube videos, this, it died on me. So I had to use an elastic rubber band just to keep the battery. And instead, now I've got this new phone, Sony Xperia Z1 Compact. And I quite like it and I'm recording the audio with you guys right now. <laughs> it's quite creepy, isn't it? I'm just going <laughs> to... Yeah. Sorry, I won't do... <laughs> I won't do that again. More videos are coming, I promise. But please keep tuned and watch my videos. Well, I've actually got quite plans, you know. I've got plans for other videos like Deck the Halls. I'm doing Kevin Little, turn me on. <laughs> parody of that. All these songs I've recorded them by the way. Some of the videos I've shot them but I've just not released it or edited it together or it's the timing and stuff. So please be sure to subscribe if you have not already. That's pretty much it for now. Geeks are cool so love, peace and feel each other. Okay. Bye! <laughs> Where do you live? Cause I think I found you. So you know I might Pop down tonight if that's okay. It, it better be okay.